call the health committee meeting to order. Under previous business, can we get a motion to approve the previous meeting minutes? Motion by Brian, second by Sean. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> number one, resolution number 134, resolution to initiate a pilot polystyrene recycling program. Thanks, Mr. Chairman, for taking me out of board. I have to go upstairs to another meeting on the ninth floor. But um, I had I provided uh, you and everyone with the additional information that you requested from the last meeting. In fact, I brought with me a, um, a block of styrofoam that has gone through the densifying machine. And this is pretty much what it looks like, only it's about that long. And uh, from this material, uh, you can make crown molding, picture frames, uh, rulers and, and other such products. So again, um, what I'd like to do is, is ask the county executive to come back and to investigate, design and implement a pilot, a pilot polystyrene recycling program uh, for the county of Albany again and for the purpose of keeping this material out of our landfills. Again, it's as we discussed last month, it's not so much the weight of the material that we're concerned about, but the volume that it takes up in our landfill and the, and the space that, that can be used for, for actually true trash. So that, that's uh, why I'm here, and, and I'm here to answer any questions. <coughs> any questions from the committee? Any questions from the committee members? Nope, no questions. We have a motion to move. Dennis, second by Sean. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Unanimous. Thanks Thank you very much. Number two, local uh, number E for 2018, the local law prohibit the use of conversion therapy for minors in Albany County. Mr. Cunningham is not here, so we'll take this. And their current business. Do you have a motion for that? Yeah. A motion by Sean. Second. Table, second by Sean. Yes. Sponsor's not present. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thanks. The current business number three, authorizing an agreement with Ellis Hospital regarding the Morgan Laboratory Services. Hey, Tim, thanks for joining us. Sure. Questions from the committee for Tim? Do you have any questions? This is just Ellis contract with same, Ellis. Same agreement as last year. Same agreement, same price. Two years. Two year uh, agreement. Or two years ago. How's it working out? I know we started that, what, two years ago? Two years ago. Yeah. It, it, it's working well. Um, it's one week a month. Chairman, and uh, we go there mainly not because of the hospital, the doctor that works out of that hospital. So, but it's working well. Any questions from the committee, Sean? I'll just make a motion. No. I'll second. No questions. Motion made by Sean, second by Dennis. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Thanks, Tim. Thank you very much. Thanks. Number four, authorizing an agreement with Samaritan Hospital doing business as Capital Region Health Connections regarding a health home provider services agreement. Oh, I'm going to Dr. Giordano. How are you? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yep. I'm Susan Daly, yep. Deputy yep. Director of Mental Health Department, Kelly Roberts, Associate Director. Um, we're requesting authorization for an agreement with Samaritan Hospital for our health home care management program starting in 2013. This is a continuation of that agreement. Any questions from the committee? Hearing none, can we get a motion? By Sean. Second by Brian. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number five, amending resolution number 497 for 2013, extending an agreement with the New York State Department of Health regarding the Maternal Child Health Initiative. Dr. Allen, welcome. Thank you. Good evening, everybody. Uh, so this is an extension. Uh, we've been notified uh, by New York State Department of Health and an additional two years of funding on the Maternal and Infant Health Community Health Collaborative. Uh, that was a previously established grant that had been in place for five years, and it is a grant uh, that utilizes community health workers um, that work with community partners to assist women uh, of childbearing age to uh, access insurance, health care, and other service, services to improve their health prior to, during, and after pregnancy. Thank you. Any questions from the committee? Moving along tonight, uh, can I get a motion to move? By Ali. Second. Mr. Drake, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? 
Number six, authorizing, <coughs> authorizing an agreement with the New York State Department of Health regarding the Tobacco Enforcement Program. Again. So this is another renewal, and we're requesting um, being able to accept funds in the amount of uh, $93,347 yearly for the Adolescent Tobacco Enforcement Program. Uh, this is the program that we utilize to ensure uh, that permitted um, establishments that sell tobacco do not sell to underage kids, so we use um, inspectors that are underage to go out and purchase cigarettes and then find uh, underage being 20 now, right? Well, yep, so we so we do, uh, Atupa covers under 18, but we also utilize Tobacco 21 under this strategy as well. So we have inspectors of different ages going out. Yeah. Any questions from the committee? I do have one question. Rick? Well, you said uh, inspectors of different ages, meaning do you have to have a duplicate set of inspectors to enforce the age groups, or is it just that you have a broad spectrum age? I, I, to understand what you're... Right. So, so you know, we have been told by the state DOH that if somebody is uh, selling to a minor under the age of 21, they can be fined under both um, of these, uh, the state law and the county law. So we do utilize inspectors um, that are primarily we use the, the 15 and 16 year olds, but we do have older inspectors as well occasionally. Just to throw them off a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? I have a motion to move. Thirteen. Second by Mr. Ward. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Unanimous. Number seven, authorizing an agreement with the Health Research Incorporated regarding the public health emergency preparedness program. So this is a uh, renewal of a yearly contract with the federal contract, which is why we're here today, um, for our public health emergency preparedness program. This is a wide-ranging program that provides um, preparedness uh, activities, including drills um, and point of dispensing uh, activities, planning for potential public health emergency scenario, um, and it also covers some supplies um, for the staff that uh, that work on, in the in this um, area in the health department. Any questions from the committee? Any questions? Yeah. Motion. motion made by Mr. Ward. Second by Brian. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay, number eight, resolution number 228, public hearing, the pro uh, proposed local law number L for 2018, local law of the County of Albany, New York, regulating the use of polystyrene foam disposable food service ware and requiring the use of compostable and recyclable food service ware by food service establishments in Albany County by amending local law four for 2013. I, I just ask, it might be a legal question. Yeah. You know, we've already voted on this law, this session. Is it legal? I mean, is there such thing as double jeopardy in the county legislature for laws? And That's this, interesting. Um, hmm? That's an interesting point. Well, it's, you know, there's two laws that I saw introduced the last meeting that were, to, in my opinion, the same as laws that we've already defeated during this legislative session. I didn't think that it was allowable to reintroduce the same law unless it was substantially different. I don't see any substantial difference. I think that he said there was no waiver for the nonprofits uh, in this version. And uh, anything else I can't read. But that, I don't know, that's not, I think that's pretty does it, different. Does that change the intent at all? It allows for some of the things that we were arguing about the first time it went around. So I think, but I can't speak for him because he's it, not here. But. My, my recollection is the main argument was the fact that we were imposing mm -hmm. and mandating regulations on our county and it, it, it would put our businesses in a difficult position against other counties, some right over the bridge from us. Yeah, I don't know if it is a substantial change, enough of a substantial change, but I think that's, I think that's what I heard was the major change, was the not-for-profits were going to get exempted from the last one we did. Yeah, I, but I don't, my opinion is that it's not a substantial change, but yeah. I, I have no objection ever to having a public hearing. Is it, is it also in the law, do we know? Is it 
what other committees are sitting in? Uh, it's also in, says law. Uh, in law as well. Okay, so the, the, the sponsor is not here, so we can... He's, but he's not here, he's tabling. Yeah, so no, we can, we can table it, but yeah. if it's in law, we can probably hammer that out, hammer that out in the law committee. Can, can we look into the legality of reintroducing the same or similar yeah. legislation or what? What's the definition of substantial difference, I guess? Well, yeah, these guys look sure. okay. All right. Brandon, it would be inappropriate at this time to be added to the whole while. No. Thank you. So, so I think I asked the other day in law, but I don't know if you got it or not. You can just get my scorecard all, you know, revved up for you know, negatives and all those I'm making notes right now. I don't recall that. Off the top of my head, I'm not sure if it's public data. I'm going to have a gay caucus just by myself. Did I tell you? Are you keeping I told a bunch of I told to some of my other people. Spontane. No, I'm not keeping score. I'm going to have my own gay caucus. It's a good idea. You know, uh, I do whatever okay. I want. If you want it done right, you got to do it yourself. Sponsors are here. We're going to table number eight, number nine, local law number L for 2018, local law of the county of Albany, New York, regulating uh, the use of polystyrene foam disposable food service ware and requiring the use of compostable and recyclable. Food service ware by food service establishments in Albany County by yeah, Annual Law Number 4 yeah. for 2013. Yeah. Any questions about this one? No. The sponsor isn't here, so we're going to table this one as well. Motion to adjourn. Motion. Sorry, I was late. Thank you.